Why should the taxpayers of our country, many of whom are struggling economically as a result of the pandemic, uh, be subsidizing the starvation wages being paid at some of the largest and most profitable corporations in America? That's the simple question. Why should working people be subsidizing some of the wealthiest families and largest corporations in America because of the starvation wages they pay their workers? And let me be very clear. The largest welfare recipient in America happens to be the wealthiest family in America, the Walton family, a family that owns the largest corporation in America, Walmart. This is a family that is worth over $200 billion. It is a family that has become $50 billion wealthier since March of 2020, during the worst public health crisis in over 100 years. This corporation that they own, Walmart, made over $15 billion in profit last year alone. And yet, Despite this massive family wealth, despite these very high corporate profits, Walmart pays wages so low that tens of thousands of their employees are forced to rely on public assistance in order to survive. They are forced to rely on food stamps to feed their children, paid for by the U.S. taxpayer. They are forced to go into public housing to put a roof over their heads paid for by U.S. taxpayers, and they are forced to go on Medicaid to get the health care they need, all of which is paid by U.S. taxpayers. While Costco, Amazon, Target, Best Buy, and other major corporations have all raised their minimum wage in recent years to at least $15 an hour, and in a few minutes we're going to hear from the CEO of Costco, the minimum wage at Walmart has remained stuck at $11 an hour for the last three years. The result, 760,000 workers at Walmart. Walmart is the largest employer in America. 760,000 employees, about half of their U.S. workforce, are paid less than $15 an hour. Now, I don't know. Maybe if you are a billionaire family, you may not understand this. But the simple truth is that no one in America can live with dignity, can raise a family on $11 or $12 an hour. And I must say, on a personal level, that I have talked to too many employees in this country who, with tears in their eyes, tell me about the struggles that they are having, trying to feed their kids, pay their rent on the starvation wages that they receive. 